Tech news incoming! This is not a drill! <gasps> Strap in, boys, this is what we train for. Watch out for Half-Life 3 rumors. Oh, wow. ah! Intel has only released a handful of their new 12th gen Alder Lake desktop processors so far, but they've already made quite an impression. The whole school is talking about how they stood up to Ryzen Chan. What does that mean? That's an anime reference. Okay. You've never seen it in your life. I don't like it. Now a Geekbench listing is being circulated that shows an Alder Lake Celeron G6900. Nice. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> a dual core entry level part Intel announced at CES beating the single core performance of an Intel Core i9 10900K. Sure, it's a 10th gen part and the benchmark was running on Linux and the Celeron's MSRP is $42 US, but it almost certainly won't be available for that price. But I still think it's worth taking this moment to celebrate the little guys. You don't need more than two cores to make a difference in the world. Look at Linus, we love a short king. He's a two core guy. You could be a short king. Razer Zephyr Pro face mask was one of the top products at CES, mostly by virtue of being an actual real product and not a CGI concept, although those are fun. I'll read about your color changing smart garbage bin all day. Great job. But after backlash over Razer's description of the mask's filters as N95 grade, the company has now removed all mention of anything N95 related on the Zephyr website. The criticism was spearheaded by YouTuber Naomi Wu, AKA Sexy Cyborg, who confirmed that the US National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH, never approved the Zephyr Pro for N95 certification, which, by the way, applies to the entire mask, not just the filters. So if you have the Zephyr Pro on your wish list, just be aware it may be less useful as medical grade protective equipment than it is as part of your cosplay of a watchdog's character, which I guess you would wanna do for some reason? The games are bad. Have you? This game sucked. The coolest thing about them was the guy with the mask. And Apple once again made a mockery of their own iOS app review process by allowing the app store to be flooded with clones of the popular Wordle word game. You may have seen it on Twitter. Wordle, Wordle, Wordle. <laughs> Wordle, Wordle, Wordle. <laughs> Apple has now started taking those clone apps down, but only after widespread backlash against the creator of one of the most popular variants, Zachary Schacht. More like Zachary Rack. <laughs> That was good, James. Hey. You got him. Got him. Zach apparently thought he could defend himself on Twitter by pointing out he offered to share revenue with the creator of the real Wordle app, Josh Wardle. I didn't even notice his name was like Wordle. What? <laughs> Wardle, the creator of Wordle, refused the revenue share, probably because he said he wants the app to remain free to use. Then Zach said, you all don't understand. See, I did this to make money. Can't you see that's reasonable? Zach attack. It didn't help that Zach had already tweeted about how much he hates copycats in the past. Hey, me too, Zach. Which is why I sued TechLink Daily into the ground. They had no right to this format. Tech week, maybe. <laughs> now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Zoho CRM, the all-in-one solution for managing your business's sales, marketing, and customer service. That's like the whole company. Zoho CRM's intuitive UI and simple navigation lets you implement their service quickly, and they'll even offer AI predictions to give you important insights into your customers' needs. Who are they? Plus, you can tweak things to your liking with a built-in design studio to help you spot critical info at a glance, like a heads-up display in a cool fighter jet. You're the pilot now. Zoho offers flexible contracts, transparent pricing, and an ever-evolving service that grows to meet your needs without snowballing costs. Learn more at zoho.com CRM. Quick bits, another reason why you don't have to be long to be great, which is why I'm trying to lose height. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Samsung tweeted out a dramatic teaser last month for an event announcing their latest Exynos CPU, presumably the one built with AMD graphics, that was supposed to take place on January 11th, yesterday. But the appointed time came and went with nary a peep from the company, who eventually responded to journalists by explaining that the new chip will be introduced alongside the Galaxy S22, which is expected to happen in the next few weeks. Delaying product releases isn't that strange, especially these days, but announcing a big reveal and then whiffing it completely it ghosted us. is a little unusual. It was ghosted by a big tech company. That's a nope. That's not unusual either. Thankfully, it was something almost no one cares about. Bam, got him, be on time next time. Android's head honcho Hiroshi Lockheimer is turning up the pressure on Apple to support rich chat services in iMessage, which would allow iPhone and Android users to send SMS text messages to each other with support for all the cool things you can do in other apps, like liking messages without sending five duplicates 
of the thing you never meant to send in. Lockheimer and the official Android Twitter accused Apple of using peer pressure and bullying as a way to sell product, which isn't likely to change Apple's mind. But hey, maybe Epic can sue them or something. I was very effective. NVIDIA has seen AMD's announcement of their driver-level Radeon Super Resolution, and a week later has one up them by announcing their own driver-level support for their Deep Learning Dynamic Super Resolution. Man, these are long. Come up with better names, guys. So now it looks like the super sampling technologies from Team Red and Green can be used in any game, even if it's not officially supported by developers. The big companies fight, so we can win. It's like Pokemon. But they're both in one ball. But they're in one ball if together. We hold the ball. Get in the ball. In acknowledgement of its inadequate supply of PlayStation 5 consoles, Sony has announced it's ramping up production of PlayStation 4s. Yeah. Sorry, what? PS4s are a bit easier to produce than the more advanced PS5, so Sony has apparently told its partners it hopes the older console can continue to serve a, as a budget-friendly alternative to the PS5. Now, normally I would be more upset about this, but PCs are getting all the good PlayStation games these days. God of War this week, whoop! <laughs> I can finish great with it. My GTX 970. <laughs> <laughs> and a pig heart has been successfully transplanted into a human for the first time by doctors at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. You talk about your mother that way? <laughs> you call her a pig? <laughs> The landmark procedure took steps to decrease the chances that the patient's body would reject the heart by taking it from a pig, genetically modified for just this purpose, using a new immunosuppressant chemical, and even more interestingly, incubating the heart with a cocaine-laced solution. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I feel great now! <laughs> Don't even care that this isn't kosher. <laughs> the 57-year-old patient, David Bennett, had suffered advanced heart failure prior to the experimental treatment, but is now reportedly doing fine. Now this was a one-time thing, so don't expect to get your own pig transplants anytime soon, but do keep an eye out for man bear pigs because now we have evidence. They're real. And it's super serial. <laughs> and the real fact is that this episode is now over. Come back on Friday for more tech news. <sighs> I can only pray I've prepared you enough. <laughs> ah!